So over the last year or two, I've been showing you how to do multi-channel audio through Sonobus, uh, which is a great feature for some people. But some of the drawbacks have been certain programs don't support multiple inputs or outputs, mm -hmm. and I've kind of had to do some hacks to make it work. Recently, Pro Tools just released a new version of their software, giving you some of those uh, advanced tools that were in the Ultimate version. So it actually unlocked the ability to do some more with Sonobus. But let's go check it out and see how it works. All right, so what I have open here is actually a Pro Tools session that I recorded a while back. Uh, and what I want to do is actually group all these different instruments into stereo channels that I can then input into Sonobus as separate audio for people. Uh, it's going to kind of mimic what you do in a live situation, but it's just a pre-recording. So yeah, I'll kind of walk you through my little session here just to show you what I have in here. Uh, I've got a drum set here recorded. So I have all the separate mics, but I have it grouped into a stereo bus over here, drum master bus. And then I have a bass channel here. Again, a DI and an amp kind of mixed into one bass master channel. And I did the same thing with guitars. I had a couple mics on the guitar channels. So there's about four different guitar tracks. Different tones. Okay, and those are all bust to their own little masters. I have vocals. Let's find some of those. And I will maintain what is fake. Okay, and those are all bust together. And then I have a bunch of horn tracks that were recorded here. Yeah, so those are all live instruments that recorded. So what we're going to do first is actually go into Pro Tools I.O. settings. And what we have to do is actually create a surround sound bus that we'll be using for uh, Sonobus. I already created one down here, but I'm going to go through the steps of how to do it. So we're going to create a new path. Uh, we're going to choose a 7.1.2, which will give me 10 channels of audio. If you don't need 10 channels going into Sonobus, you can use one of these other ones, like the 5.0, uh, 5.1, uh, quad, and all these. just depends on how many inputs you're going to need. So it's the same setup uh, regardless of which one you choose. Um, but I chose a 7.1 to give me the, the most channels here. Give it a name, create. So that's going to create the main bus, which spreads across all the different channels, the 10 channels. And then you're going to create subpaths. Uh, I'm going to create stereo subpaths. You can do mono if you need to. Um, so that's going to be for our input one and two. We're going to create one for three and four. Six. And you can label these whatever you need. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so after you create all these subpaths, you have to assign them to the appropriate channels. Uh, for one and two, you're just going to keep it on L and R. For three and four, you're going to move it to a center channel and the LFE channel, which is a subwoofer. Five and six is going to be left sides, I believe, and right sides. Seven, eight, going to be LSR and RSR. And then the last one's going to be LTS and RTS. Now, if you use this configuration, it's going to match up nicely with Sonobus's numbering system for their inputs. Uh, so just kind of copy this, this setup for you. Okay, after you have the I.O. set up, the next thing you're going to need to do is create a new channel for Sonobus's plugin. So if you go to Track, New, 7.1.2 to get those 10 channels of input, aux input. Uh, the first thing I do before I add the plugin is I'm going to actually change the output to just one and two. Um, it is a 10 channel output, but I'm just gonna be summing it out to one and two for now. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna monitor just stereo. But if you do have a different setup where you're gonna be routing Sono buses outputs to different channels, you may need to choose a different bus uh, for this. For the input, I'm going to choose that new bus we created and then put on the Sonobus plugin. 
Now make sure you use the multi-channel plugins. Uh, if you use the multiple mono, it's just going to be uh, a stereo input. So you don't want to do that. Now, if you don't see this in here, um, when I first did my upgrade, it actually was missing. You may have to trash your Pro Tool settings. You can Google how to do that, and then it'll rescan all the plugins. And I had to do that before it popped in here. So just in case your, yours does the same thing, that's how you fix it. So use the 7.1.2 Sonobus plugin. And then you're going to go to the input mixer. Uh, by default, it just creates all your channels as one big thing. So I'm just gonna remove that and then create a stereo for my drums. So we'll start with the drums. Uh, we'll go ahead and assign that to one and two and then go back to our Pro Tools here and find the drum tracks. So we'll those up. Okay, so I have this drum master, so all I have to do is assign that output to Sono Bus 1 and 2 output. Um, and that should be showing up now. So if I play the drums, you'll see that right here. Okay. So we'll create one uh, then for all the rest of the instruments. So we'll do bass. for the vocal and for the horns the guitar well horns okay let's go connect all those now so find the bass same thing output bus sono bus three and four guitar we're gonna do five and six for all these Okay, and then for the vocals, seven and eight, and then the horns, nine and ten. Okay, so if I play everything now in Sono Bus, the bass, guitars, Okay, so I got everything uh, working there. So you do have to keep this on send multi-channel if you want everyone to have control over the volumes of these channels. Yeah, so that's how you connect 10 channels of audio to Sonobus right in Pro Tools. Uh, I have other videos on how to do this in other programs like Reaper and Logic. Uh, so if you like my video, just click like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.